Alright, what up everyone? Zunwa here coming at you with another video. Today we're going to talk about Lucian mid. So if you guys haven't seen, uh, Faker just played Lucian mid against Samsung Galaxy and he's been crushing it. And I know that a lot of you that watch LCK and that are like fanboy of Faker, just as I think everyone is a fanboy of Faker, uh, you guys will want to play Lucian mid because it's going to become a trend. We're going to see a lot more pro players playing it in LCS. Uh, it's just a pick that we're going to see more and more. This video is not to explain why it's OP and why you should play it. I'm pretty sure you guys can figure this out. But I just want to make sure that if you play it, you have the right uh, mindset and you know that if you pick it, you pick it for the right reason. So here's four things you want to make sure before you go in a game playing Lucian mid. The first thing is, uh, make sure your composition needs it. So when you see Faker playing Lucian mid, he doesn't play Lucian mid when his full composition is made of AD champions. Like last game he played, there was a Kennen, AP top, there was a Zac jungle, which are strongly a source of magical damage. And therefore, he was comfortable picking an additional AD source of damage for the mid lane. If you pick Lucian mid and you already have like an AD top, uh, such as uh, Gnar, let's say, and there's like a listening jungle in your composition and you have a normal AD and normal support, your team will just lack of magical damage and therefore your en the enemy team will just have to build armor and scale and just wait for the late game so you basically cannot do any more damage. So this is very, very important, guys. Lucian mid is a great champion. Go ahead and play it, but make sure you play it. Uh, with some thought process and you make sure that your composition actually needs a Lucian, actually needs some physical damage and feel free to t talk to your team in the champion select. Say, hey guys, I want to play Lucian mid. Can we have some uh, magic damage on the top lane? Can we have uh, an Elise maybe in the jungle for additional magic damage? Just make sure you are uh, syncing with your team and not just picking it like that out of the random because you're not going to have fun because once the all enemy team have armor, you're pretty much going to be useless. The second thing is, is make sure you play aggressive. So the, 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 the number one reason Lucian is being picked, as we saw Faker playing against Crown uh, Talia, is just being super duper aggressive. Like dashing in, getting the, the passive uh, double hit on uh, the Q spell with the decree proc, like being extra mega duper aggressive aggressive in lane because you really have to make it worth it you really have to have a perfect uh, farming score you have to put so much pressure on the mid laner that he basically is stuck uh, below his turret and cannot do anything else so picking Lucian mid really gives you this power to be aggressive so you make sure you want to use it you want to be super aggressive especially in the early levels where AD is way better than AP because obviously like it costs a lot of mana for an AP mid laner level 1 level 2 he's not going to be able to respond as well as you so when when you get this level 2 this is your power spike in the lane to you even get a kill so make sure you are full aggressive but also make sure you have the wards but we'll talk about that in another point so the third point guys is make sure you play like an ADC in team fights so the whole laning phase you're gonna play like an AP mid you probably a mid laner yourself and you're like oh I know my role as a mage as a airy as an Oriana as a Syndra but Lucian is an ADC right like you can play in the bot lane with a support and you decided to put him in the mid lane you don't want to play Lucian in, the, in team fights like a mid laner like a proper mid laner that is supposed to one shot the carries because you, you're still very squishy and you're still a champion that is supposed to do a lot of damage over time over the course of an entire team fight so make sure you position yourself well, that you uh, use the ability and the pressure made by your support, that you stay in the back lane with your ADC, and that you make moves that are intelligent. Don't just dash in in team fight because you will die, this is not the laning phase anymore, and you will regret it. So make sure you're very, very paying attention of your positioning, and it's not going to be the same as if you were playing Syndra or whatever mid laner that you used to play uh, in the past. And the last one, guys, is make sure you buy wards. So, this is very, very broad, and of course you should buy wards whether you play Lucian mid or not. But especially in the laning phase, as it correlates with my second point, buying wards is going to be super, super uh, crucial. Because, basically, Lucian is such an easy champion to bait, because you always want to dash in with Lucian to get the double hit and the Q and prog the decree. 
So it's also easy for the enemy team to bait that. So make sure you ward, make sure you know where the enemy jungle is because you could get baited every action. And once your dash is up, you're gonna have to flash out or you're gonna have to die because well, you overextended. So before being aggressive, notice how Faker always have in like he always has information about the enemy jungle from his own jungle, or he knows that his jungle is near if uh, he needs to count a gank, or he just always has a ward and knows what he's doing at every single time. So if you play Lucian, you don't have a ward try to be less aggressive like try to wait try to wait for your CD of your trinket because without a ward you can very easily get baited because you will want to be aggressive at any time during the lane and sometimes being too aggressive will cost you your life so here we go guys there was four tips for uh, Lucian mid if you want to pick it up guys it's an amazing champion it's very fun and it's very powerful make sure you get flash and ignite as summoner spell make sure you play decree I like to play decree because it just gives you this extra proc and extra damage in early game and if it can get you this first blood you can really snowball and snowball snowball uh, very fast you can build Lefali and you can build also like a uh, tanky item I want to say like uh, black cleaver to get some certain of pool HP, but you can pretty much build anything with Lucian that is AD. Everything pretty much works with him. So I hope this video helps, guys. Let me know if you're gonna pick up Lucian mid and if next game in the comment down below, and if this actually helped you. I'll see you in the next video tomorrow, guys. Cheers. Okay, no mistakes, but I'm burning out. 21, will I make it out? 18, we would talk a lot at that coffee shop where I met you at. Fast forward to the good times, I strayed away. For the past two years, I thought I had to please others, thought I had to be something, but I had to be myself. This my life song, this my motivation. Yeah, I've done wrong, life been complicated for me. I can't walk around with any peace.